A circle is inscribed by joining the vertices containing the longest diagonals of a regular polygon of side 10 cm. Find the area of this circle. Uh, the answer is 5 squared plus pi plus 25 pi. You'll be wondering how the radius of any circle formed by joining the longest diagonals as shown as far as is a is a regular octagon the radius is always half of the side of the half of the side of the polygon regular octagon I told it must be an octagon so it, the radius is 10 over 2 which is 5 so our area is pi r squared which is pi 5 squared which is 25 pi so let me now analyze the first thing we have to know is that whenever a circle is inscribed in a right triangle because as a result this should be this night so i'm taking it a, a, a circle inscribing a in a right triangle we know that the radius is r the radius is r so meaning that here is r and here is r because it's also the radius so assuming the side the length of kc is b you see that the remaining part of this is b minus r because here to here is r so that same way if here is r we now see that here is assuming the length of the side is a so the remaining part here is a minus r so again if you could remember if a circle if you have a tangent from an external point the length are equal so if here is l here is l so that same way since here is a minus r here is also a minus r and if here is b minus r here is also b minus r so i'm saying from this This is from this to that. So assuming the total length is C. So we we'll see that that A minus R plus B minus R must give us C. Yes. So we now have A plus B c comes here to be minus c equals minus r minus r is minus 2r so coming here is plus 2r so you see that the radius of any in circle of a right triangle is just the addition of the legs minus the hypotenuse over 2. so that's another thing we have to know so let's go over to the to this diagram If we take okay let's just not use 10 because I want to get a formula if we use a as the or maybe X as the sides we see that here this 90 degrees I know that interior angles 2 times 180 over n so our n here is 8. 8 minus 2, 6 over 8 times 1, 8 is 135. So since here is 90, 
here is 90 the remaining part here is 45 so i'm saying that here is 45 that same way this is 45 because this is night so this is an isosceles triangle so what is left here is x over root 2 and here is also x over root 2 so we've gotten the length here y here is x so from here to here is x by observation here is x here is x so the total length here is x over root 2 plus x that same way it will be the same thing here this should be x plus x over root 2 because they are the same they are the same so we now get the longest diagonal here so we can still use what we call 45 45 90 triangle theorem so, so this total that is the hypotenuse which is the same thing as this length i remember here is x over root 2 so our hypotenuse here is just the addition of this so which is this plus this so we have x plus 2x over root 2 so let's get to this one let's use this and complete that so we've gotten that this length here is x plus x over root 2 which is the same as here x plus x over root 2 y here to x over root 2 so using our using what I just explained here that the radius of the in circle of a right triangle is is this if you add the legs minus the hypotenuse over 2 so we see that that the radius so let's just the radius that the radius is equal to the sum of the legs that's x plus x over root 2 plus x plus x over root 2 minus this x plus 2x over root 2 all over 2 So add, remember this bracket. So x plus x is 2x. 2x minus x is x. x over root 2 plus x over root 2 is 2s over root 2 minus 2s over root 2 is 0. So that's how we got that the radius is just x over 2. So coming to our equation. That's why they say the radius is equal to the, the side over to the side of the regular octagon. Remember, it must be an octagon. So area of a circle is pi r squared. So that's how we got this.